ch 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 chia Hey, it's my chia pet. This, this is chia. And Dale, this is incredibly impressive. It this, is. This is a, a, a plant that we don't use very often. The seed's pretty expensive. So we're probably not going to use it in a solid stand like this across broad acres. We got it because we wanted a warm season broadleaf for our pollinator mixes. And you can see this is developing gorgeous blooms. It's just starting to bloom. And there's a lot more blossoms out here than there was a day or two ago. Yeah, and you know, when this seed becomes more available, um, I mean, the weed suppression on this is incredible. The yeah. biomass is great. Um, it smells good. It's a member of the mint family. Yep. It's got a square stem, just like mints, other mint plants do. Um, and there's a lot of seeds, even though it's expensive per pound, there's a lot of seeds yeah. in a pound. So it may have some value as a weed suppressor. Yeah. And, you know, like I say, it, it's, it's something that we're just kind of experimenting with, but it's one that uh, I would get excited about having more of available. And certainly it's going to be a great component in the warm season pollinators. Part of the reason the seed's expensive is it's a widely sought after seed in the health food industry. Yes. It's got a lot of nutritional benefits from the seed itself there. Uh, and, and like I say, it is the exact same thing that chia pets were made out of. Yeah. So, and, and those plants that have, you know, some sort of unusual medicinal benefit, those same compounds often have benefits to the soil ecosystem as well. And I don't know what those are to the soil ecosystem, but I think there, it's reasonable to assume that there could be yeah. some such benefits. Medicine for the soil. There we go.